Once upon a time, Los Angeles was not shrouded in smog. It had one of the best electric streetcar systems in the country. But the electric trolleys disappeared, and that was no accident. The streetcar didn't fail uh, because of demographics or economics. Uh, it failed because General Motors killed it. What happened in Los Angeles happened in many cities. General Motors conspired with oil and tire companies to dismantle electric trolley lines across America. The whole concept came from General Motors. They would go in, they'd buy a street railway system, they'd convert it to General Motors buses, they'd op the, the, the General Motors buses would run on Firestone tires, and they'd be fueled by in the East Phillips and in the West Standard Oil California. It was a great, great scheme. You know, it was a tremendous scheme for selling a, a very large amount of automo automotive products. In 1947, the federal government charged General Motors and its partners with criminal conspiracy. The result, however, uh, was that General Motors was fined $5,000. And its key official, who was an assistant secretary of General Motors, one of the people who was intimately involved in this whole operation, uh, was fined the magnanimous sum of $1. Right. Now, you have to, you got to compare that, compare that with the damage that was done. Los Angeles today is, is trying to begin rebuilding its rail system, right? And their fondest projection is that perhaps in 20 years, they'll be able to rebuild at least part of it at a cost of $150 billion. And this is, this is the legacy of what, you know, of what GM left us with. 